I thought Jamal was excellent. Um, you know, he scored, scored a really good goal. But it was a constant threat, and I think if you know two three weeks time when he's a bit sharper and um, he finds a bit more rhythm, then he takes one of them chances and um, probably could have ended up walking away with a match ball nearly. Um, I thought he was excellent though, and but because a couple of in in four subs that we had to make as well, he's ended up playing ninety minutes. Um, he was obviously tired near the end, but. He put a real shift in, which so did the team as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Lyndon. Yeah, like Lyndon was sick at half time, um, wanted to continue, um, but was obviously struggling. Um, so we didn't want to bring him off. We had to, and um, that maybe did just, you know, sort of alter the way that we wanted to play and counteract what they were doing and. Um, about the chances or maybe one was before and one was after but we you know like you said we, we had a couple of big opportunities to make the game 2-0 and I think that would have um, that would have been enough to win the game Neil how do you feel about the season as a whole sort of taking the league with you like you're feeling the key especially for us yeah it kept back the same as the first season yeah it was, no it was yeah um, last week felt like a good point this week feels like disappointing point um, one of frustration, um, but I think you can see the signs of progress in the team. Um, I think we're we're nearly we're nearly a really good team. Um, we've just got a again a little, you know with the, the amount of times that we won the ball back in the first half from our organisation and then sprung counter attack moments and then didn't make the most of them situations. We weren't didn't show enough conviction. Um, or enough, uh, we weren't ruthless enough in their moments, um, and then second half because of the way they play and um, you know the possession that they have, and because it's one nil, they they can go for it, and you know it's human nature to try and sort of hold on to the result. Um, it, you're relying on that moment again that goes in your favour, and the moment it's gone. For, I think it's. You know, maybe gone through Jimmy's legs and end up in the bottom corner, and I think that was probably the only other than one shot shot that he had straight at Senny. That was probably the only one shot they had really in the whole game. So it's bitterly frustrating, and the players feel like that as well. Um, but we, you know, we need a little bit of luck as well, and we've not had that yet. Um, we're nearly there. We just have to keep going, and we have to go to home next week and try and pick up three points. Um, yeah, when anyone comes off in the first half, um, it's a worry because Ethan was having a, I think, a big influence on the game, um, attacking at right back. You know, he had numerous crosses into the box and was a real threat. Um, he felt his hamstring a little bit. Um, we're hopeful it's not too serious. Um, so we'll just have to have to wait and wait and see. Sorry. Losing him and yeah. Sam feels like. No, Sam's fine. Um, but yeah, you're right. You know, making two in four subs. We don't want to. You know, they were both having a contribution to the game, and we don't want to do that. Which means then, near the end of the game, we've only got one stoppage left, um, and you then, you know, you you stuck between a little bit of a rock and a hard place because you know they they're one nil. They're pushing you back. You saying, well, do you make a change? But then. If that's a defensive change, does that mean they get on top even more? And then it's it's difficult. It was difficult. It was just that was the situation that we faced. And um, some of the players put a real shift in. And Tim, Sam in the middle of the pitch, I thought were excellent. Um, and sometimes those players who are playing on the pitch, they're in rhythm. They're used to the rhythm of the game. And it's hard to bring a sub on and expect him just to find the pace of the game straight away. But... Um, yeah, the, the, the players, you know, they, they were competing. They were there from the first whistle today. Uh, and they're really frustrated at the end of the game, bitterly disappointed that they've not won. And I, I feel for them a little bit because I think their, their efforts um, deserve uh, more than what they've got in some of the games recently. Good luck in the second half. 
no, 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 don't, no. Um, I say when it's 1 0, go to any game around the country today when it's 1 0, 2 1, then they, they change shape numerous times. They put more attacking players on the pitch, they can go for the game. Um, and I think they've scored more goals late in the game than, than any other team in the Championship this season. Um, so it's, I think that would be an easy thing to say, like, oh, we're defending deep. Say, so, yeah, the goal came from the edge of the box. I don't, you know, it's, I think that was the one moment they had, other than maybe another shot that they had. But it's easy to talk like that after the game. If Jamal takes one of them chances and it's 2 0, then we're not talking like this. So. Um, no, not nervous. No, no, no. Um, no, it's um, January can be exciting. Um, who knows what happens? Um, we'll see. You know, we, we I said yesterday, yesterday, uh, yeah, yesterday, uh, that we've had a bid for Linden from a club, but it doesn't meet our valuation. So I think you see from Lyndon's performance today, that's not affected him at all. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, other than that, I've got nothing else to report and there's nothing imminent at the moment. Yeah, they are, they're humans before footballers. Yeah, um, well, I can't comment on Russell and his no, no, player no, 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 and no, no, um, the situation there, because I'm unaware of it. Um, I'm aware of the situation that we're dealing with with Lyndon, but I think Lyndon's performance spoke volumes for him and the type of character he is. And um, we speak, and you know, we want to play, and he's with us, and he plays. So, um, no, but I agree. Yeah, um, January can can cause a little bit of uh, chaos in terms of the players' psyche and what they have to deal with, and because there's a lot going on. Um, I don't, you know, from the performance of the players today, you can see that there's a team out there that was fully committed. Yeah, I, no, I, I thought there was lots of good performances today. You know, Tyler's looking fitter and stronger all the time. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, it was. It's probably even more frustrating because I think that you know we we've. Limited them to very, very little in the game. Um, yet we've only drawn. Mm, so I understand emotion, passion. We all want to win. And when we don't win, particularly when we're at home and we're one nil up, and it, it, it's, it, it's, you know, you, you show that emotion and passion. And there was a bit of a passion in the dressing room after the game, and which is a good thing. A good thing. Um, what we have to do, though, is then I have to is separate myself from that emotion, take myself. Go and evaluate the game and and feedback and then that process continues on Monday of us becoming um, a better football team ready for next Saturday. No, I think we have it. Yeah, I'm. Fi I'm. I'm I'm happy with the, the squad that we've got here. I think we've got a good nucleus of a, of a good group. Um, now, again, look, January, like you just said, you know, got some good players and we might be open to some bids. But then, you know, we, we, we I think strength is, you know, strategizing and succession planning and looking ahead. If this happens, are we ready to move? And, uh, and yeah, look, I'm always thinking next week, the week after, what's it going to lack in three months in 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 the summer? Um, but I understand that you have to win football games to give yourself that time as well. So, unfortunately, today we've not got the one the, the win that I, I felt the performance merited. The high press seemed to be working quite well. Uh, it kind of gives you the back um, to see Jamal um, wasn't able to finish him off. You pleased with how the side executed the game plan? You had him check. Um, yes and no, uh, because I think we, from the the, the the moments that we created in the first half, we had, it, it's not that we created chances, shots on goal, but we had numerous opportunities where an extra pass or the final decision or the better cross or would have created clear-cut chances, and we didn't. 
you know that Swansea, because of the possession that they have, um, it's hard to create chances against them. But when you do get chances, they're clear-cut ones. And we had some clear-cut ones today. So we were very close to executing the perfect game plan. Um, but we, we failed a little bit in, in, them, in them moments, unfortunately.